Welcome to this lesson on the exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle theorem says in a triangle, an exterior angle is equal to the sum, so that means to add, of the two non-adjacent, that means not next to, interior angles. So basically, if I want to find the measure of this exterior angle, exterior means it's outside the triangle, that would be this, the measure B, C, D, then I can add the two interior angles, but not this one, because that's adjacent. We want the ones that are not adjacent. So I can add this one, A, and this one, B. All right, so let's try some examples. So number one, we have an, a missing exterior angle here. So that is equal to the sum of these two interior angles that are not touching, they're not adjacent to. So 59 plus 75, which would be 134 degrees. So that means this angle measure here is 134 degrees. All right, number two, we're given this exterior angle, 139, but we're missing one of the interior angles. So I know that I can add these up but I'm solving backwards here, so I need to subtract 74 from both sides. That would give me 65 degrees. So this angle here is 65 degrees. All right, number three, we have some an algebraic expression here, so I always start with the exterior angle. Always write that first, 142 is equal to, and then add up find the sum of the two interior angles. You don't have to write the parentheses or the degree measure. All right, so combine like terms, 78 plus 2x. I'm gonna subtract 78 on both sides. Then divide by two, so that would be 32. And then I'm just going to substitute 32 in for this angle here. 2 times 32 plus 1, that would be 65 degrees. All right. You can also find the other interior angle, of course, just subtract from 180. So let's go back to number 2 and do that. So 180 minus 74 minus 65 is 41. Or even faster, these are supplementary because they form a line, so you could just take 180 minus 139. Same thing here, 180 minus 142, 38. Easy. All right, number four. Exterior angle equals the sum of the two interior angles. Remember, that's 90 degrees. So minus 90 minus 90. So that would be 40 degrees. So this is 40 which would make this 50, of course. All right, and then number five, we have a isosceles triangle here, which means these base angles are gonna be the same. So 4x equals 55 plus 55. Add those together, and then divide by four. All right, and then four times 27.5, that would be 110, and this would be 70. Again, I got this angle by just taking 180 minus 110 because these are supplementary, they form a line. They're a linear pair. All right, and then the, the last one, triangle ABC has the following angle measures. I'm gonna draw this just so we make sure we get the right exterior angle, so I'm just going to make this 20, so let's do A, B, C. B, C, A is 64. I didn't really draw that to scale. It's okay. A segment extends from triangle A, B, C, creating B, C, D, so let me move this C. Find the measure of A, C, D, so we need to find this. So basically, this is going to be equal to the two non-adjacent angles. So we're not going to use 64 here. We can, and I'll show you that at the end. But let's use actually the exterior angle theorem that we've been learning. So that would be 20 plus 
then we need to find the measure of angle A. So I'm just going to take 180 minus 64 minus 20 to find that third angle, which is 96. All right, so that exterior angle equals 96 plus 20, which is 116. Now you may be thinking, um, wait, there's a faster way, and there is. You can just take this linear pair here, so if this is 64, then it just has to be 180 minus 116. You can also do that. Okay, you can pause the video now and complete your practice, and then come back when you are done, and we will go over the proof. All right, the exterior angle proof. So let's prove why this works. So we have a triangle here with angles one, two, and three, and then an exterior angle of four. So that will be given. Number two says the measure of angle one plus two plus three equals 180. And that is the triangle sum theorem. Or you can just put the three angles in the three interior angles in a triangle equal 180. And then 3 plus 4 equals 180. That's a linear pair here. They form a line. Number 4, we have this really long statement, but this section came from here. This section came from here. So basically we're saying these two expressions, these two statements are equal. And the reason we can say that is because they're both equal to 180. So if two things are equal to the same thing, we can say they're equal to each other. That's called the transitive property. All right, and then from number four to number five, it looks very similar, but if you look for just a second, there's just something missing. And what's missing is the measure of angle three. The reason we can take that away is because we have it on both sides. So we can subtract it from both sides without changing the value of the equation. That's called the subtraction property of equality because we subtracted it from both sides. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video and complete your practice.